Oh crap! <laughs> they nearly pushed me off the friggin' edge! Ugh. That would have been bad. Especially since I'm at half health. Ugh. Would have been dead right there. It would have been dead. I would have just gone splat into the bottom of that chasm. Bottom of that waterfall. And died. Uh, feel the change in okay, the let's turn these in. Anything good? No. Ooh, I already have 800 there. And this is equal. So, go Head for the most the expensive. Skies. That's my motto. When in doubt, go for whatever costs the most. Okay, let's head down, turn in that uh, drum one, then I will head up, head around, and uh, see what the other quest is. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Uh, I have been playing around on my Warlock more over the past few days, and I've gotten to see more of the world quests, more of the stuff that's actually to come for me on Flube. And, uh, yeah, let's just jump and a bubble. Bubble jump. There we go. And turn this in. Really quick. Hopefully I'm before the stars. elevator leaves. Beware yes, yes. Come on, no, no, no. Yes! Ah, there we go. So yeah, I've seen a lot of the world quests. I've seen how they work, how they function, how you can actually get some pretty good gear out of doing it. I've gotten some epic stuff, epic upgrade stuff, which is fairly nice. As well as just some straight up epics, which is even nicer. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, I, I do have to say it is a bit annoying that here we have all of this... Uh, any boxes or anything? Here we have all this stuff building up our profession stuff, our crafting like uh, blacksmithing and armor and stuff like that, but it's still pretty much worthless. I have to admit that. It is still pretty much worthless. I mean, I can make all this plate armor, but uh, it's not really worth the effort to do it because I usually have equal, if not better, stuff by the time I can actually make it. I mean, the sheer amount of materials I needed to make any of this was fairly high, and I could make it right now, but by the time I'm high enough level to wear it, it would probably be... I'd already have something better or equal to it. So yeah, I could make it right now. In fact, I could make these uh, Laystone Waste Guards. Unfortunately, it's level 101, so it doesn't actually the level up with you. And I've already got level 800. So yeah, With the a bit disappointed. Defeat, he uh, though I do have this. So I still haven't figured out how to make demon steel bars yet. So, yeah. I don't know. I was kind of hoping that the, like, uh, armor and weapons would actually be useful for something. But unfortunately, it doesn't really look like it is. I mean, if it, like, leveled up or if it was, uh... If it was equal to your level like all the other items are, like you make it and whatever you... When you equip it, whatever your level is, that's the level it becomes. That would have been nice, but unfortunately I don't think it works like that. So yeah. I, I could make this, but I already got better. I could make these. In fact, I might make these. Huh, these could be useful. In fact, do I have enough? I can actually make this right now. Ooh, and that would be really good for uh, whenever I hit 106. So yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's, ooh. Let's drop down into the water. Don't die! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I could actually make some of that stuff, and it would be fairly useful. But the lower level stuff's kind of worthless, and, um, a bit annoying that it costs so much. I mean, I thought when you upgraded the, uh, tier of it, you got from one star to two star to three star, that it might increase the level of the item or something like that, but instead all it does is decrease the material cost. Witness three visions. There we go. And we have a bonus objective. So let's go ahead and grab that. Because these guys, I think, give like, what? What is it? Five, ten percent each? Ten percent. There we go. The basilisks give ten percent. So I only need ten of these guys. Which isn't too bad, to be honest. So, yeah, let us go click. Let us click. Clicky, clicky, clickety-clack. 
on all this stuff. After I kill these stupid little scorpions. Boom. Boom. Ah. Come on. Click. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, click on that. Get the story. Ah, my people did not make this goblin trash. We only strapped it to that worm's hide. No weapon of mortal make can penetrate these metal plates. Then we must find weapons not made by mortals. Igrul, is there any tool or trinket that Deathwing kept from your people? Something he would not trust you to touch. Hmm. I may know of something. Something? Something? Something, tra -la, la Probably, definitely, most likely, the magical MacGuffin we are here to collect. Ah. Uh, Yes, for we are here to collect another one of the world pillars. And I am guessing the magical MacGuffin we are here to collect is the item in question. At least, that's what I think it is. Uh, come on. Loot it up! Okay, let's see the next portion and see where the magical MacGuffin is. So apparently this is Deathwing. This is uh, Deathwing's lady. cave. What lies beyond? A hammer! Deathwing eats any of my people who get near it. Yep, this was Deathwing's cave before he went all... Ooh. I can actually go up here. I did not realize that. I never went in there before. What the hell? Huh. What is this? Come on, click. Aha! So Deathwing wants this Titan Hammer kept secret? Perhaps this is the weapon we need to challenge the beast. Crap, crap. Okay. I thought that was rare, not another one of these. Huh. How very odd. So is this like a rare event or something? I don't remember coming up here last time I was went through here on my warlock. So, yeah. How very odd. I mean, I did come through with someone else, so they might have come through. They might have come up here and done it, so... Not really sure. Uh, ooh. Do we have to kill that? No. Yeah, here we go. What the hell? <gasps> My mouse is kind of screwing me over here. Every time I try to right-click, it doesn't right-click. And then it just kind of screws me up. We go. Uh, is it done? Ah, there it is. There's the treasure. There is the treasure. So this was an optional thing, and I just got 15k experience. So you do get experience whenever you get one of those treasures. Ah, very nice. And I just got some more points. There we go. Would it be nice if I could actually click on it? But still. Uh, so you do get you do get experience whenever you get those treasures. Okay. Okay, I, I wasn't particularly sure. I haven't really been paying attention. That might explain why I'm getting so far ahead in the experience. In the experience portion. Because <laughs> uh -huh. uh, that was true in a... in a, a Draenor. Every time you got one of those treasures, one of those hidden things, it did give you experience. In fact, can I actually make that stuff here? Can I make one of these? Uh, just at a regular anvil? Like, uh, what was it, this? No. It was the breastplate. No. Breastplate? No. Greaves. Here we go. Can I actually make one of these? Yes, I can. Very nice. And massive upgrade. It would be if I could right click. I need to get a new mouse, damn it. Uh, my mouse is screwing me over. And very nice. Another upgrade. Come on, right click. Right click. Right. Right click. Okay, and the helm. Can't, can't make a helm yet. But I do have a nice pair of boots now. And a nice pair of pants. Uh, though, I wonder, is it worth it just to make it for the appearance? 
That could be a thing. If I want the appearance, I could just make them. So it's not too bad. I mean, for transmog purposes, it wouldn't be too bad if I actually like the appearance. I'll have to look at that at some point. But yeah, I really do need to get a better mouse. Because every time I right click, it kind of screws me over. Whenever if I don't, I have to really, really mash the right right mouse button, which is so friggin' annoying. Uh, but I am at 87%, which is not too bad. So yeah, I think, yes, there is another treasure up here. I remembered this one. And I think there's another one in the cave above. So... Huh. No experience that time. No experience that time? Really? No. No? No. But there's a brazier over here, and... A massive laystone seam! Give me some of that delicious laystone. Ah, oh, yes. Nah. I really could just do that, couldn't I? Just run around mining, herbing, maybe doing some uh, archaeology and getting some uh, experience out of it. That would be fun. But would probably not be as much fun to watch. Me just running around and mining and herbing. Especially doing archaeology, because that would take a fairly long time to do. It'd be fairly boring to watch, to be honest. It'd be fun for me, because I actually do like doing the archaeology stuff. Though I completely forgot to do any of it when I was in Azuna. So, yeah. And I think that's where all three of them were. Azuna? Yep, they're all three in Azuna. I was right there, too. I didn't do any of them. I was right next to it. I probably should have. But I didn't. And why won't it let me loot? Come on. Right click. Damn it. Ah. There we go. We must slay the beast and set my people free. Spirits guide you. There we go. Okay. But yeah, I probably should have done at least some of the archaeology stuff. Because there might be something good, something I really do need to do for that. I'm not really sure. I haven't really looked into it. Just like I haven't looked into what all I need for fishing. All I know about fishing is... He's a lot smaller than I remember. Remember, remember, remember. He's a lot smaller than I remember from a dragon soul. Though that is one thing about the dragons. They can shift their mass. They can be massive guys, or as small as an eyed elf. Or Chromie. If you ever met Chromie, she's absolutely tiny. She's a little gnome. Her mortal form is a little tiny gnome. And then when you meet her in Stratholm, the old Stratholm, like, uh, uh, Caverns of Time Stratholm, where you're helping Arthas. She's actually huge. She's a fairly sized dragon, about the size of Deathwing right here. How she compacts all that mass into a tiny gnome form is anyone's guess. But she manages to do it. And it's odd. I, I've said that before. I've always found the fact that the, the uh, dragons are capable of just completely reducing their mass to such a small, tiny space to be fairly I odd. Counsel the High Chieftain. Uh, okay... Hands, upgrade. Finger, also double upgrade. So I'm guessing I'll go for that, gently because it's the most expensive. And that's all the fault. There we go. Watch over you. And, so uh, bop. Never back down. No matter the enemy. Okay. History is forged by the heart and anything else I need to equip? Don't think this so. Is the truth your father uh, bop, 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 bop. Our people need no. a leader like Hull. No. One with the no. strength and courage to face any obstacle. Oh, oh, let me grab this before I start that. I don't want someone else coming and by so there is one and picking it up while I'm in the middle of fighting. This uh, is a secret passed from there we go. And we got a bonus dude! A little bonus basilisk. A green basilisk. There we go. Die. Die, you weird lizard thing. Die, you weird lizard thing. Where the hell did he come from? I mean, was he just hiding inside the ore vein? I mean, again, he was so tiny. That ore was so tiny. There's not even a hole there. 
I mean, if there was a hole underneath it where he crawled out of, like I kind of disturbed his nest, he was using that ore vein as a kind of a doorway, I could understand that. I would be pissed off if someone came along and knocked down my door because they wanted what it was made of. But no, there's not even a hole there. I mean, if there was a hole, I can understand him coming out of it. But just appearing out of nowhere, just weird. Weird, weird lizard things. Attacking me for just mining up a node. Oh. Okay, just have to kill these ghost dragons. And then, then, hopefully, hopefully, we can move on to something else. Maybe I can move on and get those in those blacksmithing things done. Blacksmithing and mining ones. Well, mining quests done. But those that do should be free of Deathwing's corruption. Who laid all these eggs? I mean, I don't see any of the female dragons. I mean, I thought Anixia was the brood mother of the black dragon flight. This isn't her cave. Her cave is over in a Duskwallow Marsh. So, why are there eggs here? Who is the mom of these dragons? If this is Deathwing's cave, which is odd, because I thought Deathwing's cave was over in Black Rock Mountain. Unless that's just an Ethereum. I don't really know. But who, who laid all these eggs? Was it Deathwing? I mean, who knows? Maybe. Maybe Deathwing was female all along and laid a bunch of eggs. Or maybe it's the ghost of whoever these dragons are. I'm not really sure. <laughs> what is the odd question? Where do all these eggs come from? Where did they come from? I shall call you Ebonhorn. Ebonhorn. Ebonhorn! So it was that Holmes gained the allegiance of his family's oldest ally. Spirit Walker Ebonhorn. <laughs> and surprise! Surprise! It's actually a black dragon. The whole time. Mela, I am still the same spirit walker you have known your entire life. Know that regardless of what happens, I serve the High Chieftain. Which gives me great honor to say this next part. Mela High Mountain, I you hereby welcome, pronounce you champion. High Chieftain. Long may you stand. Hail to the Chief, baby. Hail to the chief. Uh, okay, there is another treasure. I know that up here somewhere. Uh, I just need to figure out where. It's up here, right around... Here it is. These guys are getting it right now. Haha. -ha. If I can... There we go. Free treasure. And, oh, I was going to uh, sell stuff. But yeah, look at that. This is what I was talking about last time. The NPCs that are following around the horde are all red to me. I can't actually attack them, but it's the fact that they're red at all. It's something I find odd. I mean, you can't actually attack them, so it's not really an issue. Un unless you can do it on a PvP server. Maybe if I was flagged PvP, or if they were flagged PvP, I'd be able to attack them. But I'm not really sure. Uh, I never really play on the PvP servers, so I'm not sure how it would work there. But that would be kind of annoying if people could just walk up and kill the quest NPC you're trying to escort around. Die. Die, you stupid little kobolds. These guys are everywhere. Uh, these little weird rat guys with their stupid little candles on their head. But they've been around since the very beginning. The you-know-take-candle guys. Uh, I remember them from Elwyn. Just running around with those stu in those stupid mines and stuff, and they're just everywhere. Uh, it was, they were always kind of annoying. Fun to kill. Simply to smash them and squish them, because they're evil little creatures. <laughs> stupid, annoying little creatures. But, yeah. The fact that they're everywhere, and they've always been everywhere... At least in a Kalimdor, in Kalimdor in Eastern Kingdoms, Northrend, they were called snowballs, which is something I always found odd, calling them snowballs. Um, I, I'm not explaining why I find that funny, 
But, uh, yeah, it's funny. Uh, just take my word, the name Snowballs is funny. <laughs> uh, okay, let's turn this in. All of High um, Mountain stands with you. Let's champion. see, holy fire. Uh, blessing of protection. Reduce the cooldown. Shield of vengeance. Huh. I don't actually want either one of these. I don't need Blessing of Protection, because I rarely ever use Blessing of Protection. And Shield of Vengeance... Hmm. I kind of want to keep what I already have, because of the simple fact I like that. But this would add 8 item levels to my weapon, so... Yeah, unfortunately... High mountains. Unfortunately... I guess I just have to go with it. I just have to bite the bullet. High Mount Smiths report to Rarus and Ironhorn. Okay, let us go over there. Or at, le at the very least, let us get the flight point over there. So, yeah. Uh, can, uh, it's up. It's up on the friggin' other side of this mountain. I was gonna try and, like, jump off and fly around. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'll be able to do that. Damn it. Because it's right here on on the other side of the mount, so I literally have to go all the way around. Damn it. I wanted to try and just jump off and glide, but I can't do it. Oh. It is a nice view, though. Though this is Suramar, I think. Yes, it's Suramar. And I don't want to go down there, because that's all, like, uh, level 110 areas. Uh, ooh, let's sell some stuff really quick, and I'll fly back to the turn-in. Okay, here we are, back for the turn-in. Uh, let's see. I did get one of those. So, yeah. Should I go ahead and put this on? I mean, it would remove the one I actually want to keep on. But at the same time, it would give me more item levels. Uh, huh. I would have to remove that, and that would give me what? Oh, damn it. Fine. Fine. Just for the extra item level. 20 item levels as opposed to 12. And I still have 18%, so I lost 6% critical strike chance, but I gained 8 item levels on it. Not too bad, to be honest, but still annoying. And I actually have a trinket, Strength Mastery. There we go. It's better than what I had. Huh. So yeah, uh, let's turn this now in and see... United, what is this? We turn our eyes Artifact power. Nature. There we go. Uh, let's see, where do I have to go now? Damn it. <laughs> the right click is starting to get annoying. Uh, okay, I want to do is head this way, I guess. Um, what I want to do is head this way head south and then head around or do I I'm not really sure which way do I have to go I know I had to go back upstairs but I want to get over to the blacksmithing stuff so just so I can get it turned in see what the next part is plus there's a flight point there anyway so it's not gonna be too bad the question is which way do I have to go not sure I haven't been over to that particular flight point yet. Which is why I'm a bit confused. I forgot to put that in my bank. Huh. Okay, I think I have to go this way. Uh, I think it's this way. Looks like it's this way. So let's go this way. I'll see about grabbing up that flight point. See if we can turn in that, uh... Uh, what is it? What is this? I don't have anything there. So why is it flashing? I don't know. Is this the right area? Okay. Huh. So that's the, uh... That's the, uh... uh buh, 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 buh. The, 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 the... Dungeon entrance. That's the word I was looking for. Dungeon entrance. So this is the upper area here. So I have to go south of here. Around the mountain, I guess. And there's friggin' stupid things attacking me. And freezing me and stunning me. Go away. 
you stupid thing. Ah. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I don't know which way to go, though. Because I have not been through here. Is that a treasure? No. Any treasures? I keep... I keep... <gasps> My mouse is annoying me! Ah. Okay. You know, for a, for a second there, I had a weird thought that this might be a horde area. But, uh, yeah. I'm not really sure. Are there, like, horde towns here? I'm not... I don't really know. I haven't seen any. Most of them have just been these, uh, Torin guys. So, there might actually be horde towns, and I just need to be careful I don't, like, uh, run right into the middle of one. What are these guys... Anything? It's like a treasure up there or something? No? No. Okay, so where is this place? Where is this village that I need to find? Ah, here it is. Wait, am I going the right way? I don't know. Uh, is this... What is that up there? Huh. I don't know. I, I have not been up there yet. So yeah, this is completely new to territory for me. I have not been to this area yet. I haven't had any quests that sent me over here. So I'm just running around exploring a little bit just to see what's here. Plus, I have quests. I do have quests to send me here now. But I did not on my warlock. I'm just hoping that this is the actual right area. Is it the right area? No. No! It's... Is this up... Is it upstairs? Tell me it's not upstairs. Or below. Because that looks... No, that's not... This isn't it. This is a... Down there is where... The, uh... uh, uh, uh thing is. The blah 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 is. <laughs> uh, Stormheim. That's where Stormheim is. So I just went in the completely wrong direction here. Well, oh, crap. I just went in the wrong direction. So now I have to go all the way back. Damn it.